Raider Nation video cast. Here we are at a crucial time in the Raider history. We're here. We're playing the Bears at home at the Big O. As you can see, we're welcoming to our Bear uh, opponents. But trust me, the Raiders are in no way welcoming to the Bear players. And that's the way it's going to be. And here we have we have a couple of Bear fans in the house. We're going to check it out right here. Uh, tell me, my friend, what makes you a Chicago Bear fan? Oh, uh, fourth generation, born and raised in the south side of Chicago where uh, George Hallis and the Chicago Cardinals, I was two blocks away from their age, uh, originated at, but um, diehard Bears fan the whole way, two miles from Soldier Field. Yeah, my sister lived by the Midway over there on, uh, in Cicero. Yeah, yeah, Cicero. Yeah. It's not that far. It's, it's a little further out, but I live two miles away from where UIC is at. It's uh, right up the street of, uh, from uh, Soldier Field. So let me ask you, what do you think of the Raider Nation? What do you think of uh, how we party, what we do here at uh, Coliseum? I give credit where credit's due. Your fans are the, one of the best in the nation. You know, I support my team 100%, but uh, these guys are diehard and friendly. No matter what people say, you know, they're this, they're that. These guys, they brought me in, they picked me up, they took care of me the whole weekend, they spent the, the, the weekend at their house. Top-notch quality people, love it. And that's what I'm saying about the Raider Nation, don't be afraid to come to the Coliseum. We are fierce, but we are friendly. It's awesome, thank you guys. You guys are, the, you guys are one of the best, love it. Thanks for representing. Thank you guys for representing the Bears. It's always good to get the competition in the house. Bad Boys of Barbecue are fucking are awesome. <laughs> Bad, Boys <That's> a, <laughs> Bad Boys of Barbecue yeah. are awesome. Yeah, that's a Raider Nation talking right there, baby. You know that's how we roll. Thanks yeah, for coming. Awesome. You guys are, thank you so much. Oh, you guys yeah. are, it's very good, man. This, this it's all the way good. it should be. This and here we are, pleasure with John Vela of the Raiders. Check it out, John. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me about uh, the history with the Bears. A history with the Bears. You know what? Uh, what I remember is, I want to say it was my rookie year, might have been my second year, playing against the Chicago Bears, and Dick Buckus was still playing. Oh. And, 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 and it was hard not to, you know, even though I had my defensive end over me, it was hard not to be looking over at Buckus because he was such a uh, legend. And, and uh, but, but, but I, I remember that about the game, and I also remember, uh, I remember something that happened in the game where, uh, where we came in the huddle, the wind was against us at, at Soldier's Field, and Cliff Branch, this was something he'd say all the time, he'd say, he'd say Kenny, Kenny, I can, I can beat him deep, I can beat him deep, and Kenny said, hey, wait until we switch sides, the quarter's over in a minute, let us switch sides, I'll have the wind with me and we'll call it, the first play. Sure enough, first play, he caused the long one to branch down the sidelines and the touchdown. Uh, but but that, that's that's what I think about Chicago. Thought about Dick Buckus and that and that interaction between uh, Cliff and uh, and uh, Kenny and and they hook up and that happened a lot. Well, thanks for sharing that moment because you must have had some butterflies maybe a little bit. You think Buckus is coming after you? What? Hey, you know what? You had butterflies every game. If you didn't, if I, if I didn't have butterflies, I'd be worried. And there was a few games I went into the game and I was very worried. I said, "Geez, I'm too relaxed." I don't have butterflies today, but but if you didn't have butterflies, if you if your if your stomach wasn't churning, you, you, I felt something was wrong. What do you think about our Raiders today? Hey, we're in first place. We haven't been in first place this late in the season, and uh, I don't even want to say how long it's been. But long but, time. but but it's exciting. Hey, and 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 uh, hey, Cutler's a good quarterback, and it's too bad he's out. But uh, it's an advantage Raiders today, and I hope they take advantage of it. You got to take advantage of everything. Am I right? Hey, you know what? I mean, it's like the NFL's tough. Every given week, you, you see there's there's upsets and things happen that are crazy, but uh, we can't take this game for granted, even though they've got a quarterback starting for the first time. Hey, this kid this kid is good. He wouldn't be in the NFL, and we'll see how good he is, and hopefully the Raiders can, can, uh, can make him look bad and he can look good another day. John Vela, you are the best interview I've ever had in my life, man. You are the because it's sincere from the heart, man. Thank All you right. so very much. Brother. All right, go Raiders. Go Raiders. Here we are at the Coliseum and uh, wanted to uh, interview uh, next player here, uh, Anthony uh, Colagrassi. Jace. Uh, so what do you think so far? Jace, 
Uh, darn near good game, though, right? Uh, I think it's going to be an exciting game. Chicago, uh, what are your feelings? Very good. Okay. Uh, so here we are at the Coliseum uh, at the parking lot. Uh, I had a hell of an uh, interview with uh, Cola Grassi, uh, who used to play for the Oakland Raiders back in. Jays. So uh, signing off here from the Oakland Coliseum, uh, hey, go Raiders. Bye. Bye.